Hello and welcome to the video by me, the Raspberry Pi Guy. Today I'd like to introduce all of you to the latest iteration of the Raspberry Pi computer, the A+, the successor to the Model A. For the first time ever, we have a Raspberry Pi that is not credit card sized. This particular model is smaller and features a whole host of improvements compared to its predecessors, the original Model B and A. As you can see, the Model A+, has taken quite a few fashion tips from its big brother, the Model B+, and so let's take a closer look at the latest addition to the Raspberry Pi family. I think that the first thing we need to discuss is that cute new form factor. Throughout the history of the Raspberry Pi, the various models have always been advertised as credit card sized, and even then, they've always been impressively small. But this time, the foundation have outdone themselves and have shrunk the A plus right down, removing the wasted space which was present on the original Model A. The board measures approximately 55mm by 65mm and this means that the Model A Plus has a lot of potential with regards to embedded projects and people who are after a more discreet, smaller computer. Let's get down to some of the nitty gritty details and specs then. So at the heart of the A Plus we still have the familiar Broadcom BCM2835 that's clocked at that respectable 700MHz. On top of that we are supplied with 256MB of RAM whereas you'll find that the B Plus has 512 megabytes. This is one of the major differences between the two boards. Now let's take a quick tour around the A Plus. Starting from the right of it, you'll see that this side is a little bit sparse with regards to components. As with the original Model A, the A Plus only has one USB port. This is good for those who only want to use something like a Wi-Fi dongle. However, if you want to connect more than one USB device, you're going to have to use a USB hub. Moving downwards, you'll see the lack of Ethernet. The A Plus does not feature an Ethernet port, and this does have its benefits, which I'll cover in a second. Now looking at this side of the A Plus, you'll see that there is still the HDMI port, audio slash video jack, camera connector, and micro USB power slot. By cutting out the extra USBs and Ethernet, the power usage of the Model A Plus is drastically lower than that of any other model of Pi. This was a feature that attracted a lot of people to the original Model A, but you'll be pleased to know that with the new switching regulators, the Model A Plus uses between 20 and 25% less power than the original Model A. That's going to make it perfect for embedding into projects where you need to really consider power usage. Moving to the back end of the Model A Plus, you'll see that it's practically identical to the Model B Plus. We still have the DSi slot, and on the bottom you'll find the micro SD card slot. Finally, you'll see that on the top of the A Plus, there is that same 40-pin GPIO connector. This is of course an improvement from the original Model A. This also means that the A Plus is completely HAT compatible, and when it's installed with a HAT like this, it does create a much neater package as nothing overlaps or sticks out. The A Plus is compatible with anything designed for the B Plus as well. That's largely due to the fact that the mounting holes and GPIO are in exactly the same place. Just before I boot this up, it's worth noting that the A Plus is now the cheapest Raspberry Pi available. It will retail for just $20. This is an incredible new price, which is a great achievement from the foundation, as they set out with a price of $25 in mind. The fact that they can provide a quality, useful computer at a price lower than that will mean that the A Plus will enable more people to join the Raspberry Pi revolution. Moving on, here we have the Model A Plus functioning and playing Minecraft. I'm using the same micro SD card that I've used for the past couple of months with my B Plus, and it needed no extra configuration. I just swapped it in. As you can see, even with just 256 megabytes of RAM, the A Plus can still play Minecraft Pi Edition well, and so I wouldn't worry about the RAM hindering intensive tasks. In conclusion, I think that the A Plus is an excellent update to the Model A. The foundation delivered on their promises, the form factor is great, and its low power use means that it's perfect for embedded projects. After using it for a couple of days, I couldn't recommend it more. The Raspberry Pi B Plus has the extra USBs and Ethernet, but I don't think the A Plus is in competition with it. They complement each other. The A Plus will be available to buy from all the major Pi retailers, and I look forward to seeing them in the hands of you guys and girls. That's all for now. I've been the Raspberry Pi Guy. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and until next time, bye!